Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to read a story from Mater's Tall Tales. There's three books in here. We've already done the first two, and the last one is El Mater Door. And this is special because I actually have El Mater Door. There is Mater with his Mater <laughs> Matador outfit on. So let's get set up and start reading the story of El Mater Door. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to watch our videos. You guys are liking these uh, reading aloud storybooks. I appreciate that. And it's, it's even better because I actually have El Matador here. So it's pretty cool. Okay, that looks like Lightning and Mater out for a stroll next to all those big, big dozers. Mater and Lightning McQueen were driving down the road when they passed a group of grazing bulldozers. You know, said Mater, I used to be a famous bulldozer fighter in Spain. Hmm. They called me El Matador, Mater declared proudly. Look at that. It looks like him. Bulldozer fight. Are they the same bulldozers as these guys? I don't think so. These guys are like grass cutters. The crowd cheered whenever El Matador entered the arena. He was the bravest bulldozer fighter there ever was. Everybody loved El Matador. He was fearless. Anyone who looked into his eyes knew that he simply couldn't be defeated. Looks pretty confident. Uh-oh. When the bulldozer entered the arena, a hush came over the crowd. The bulldozer snarled and charged El Matador. El Matador waved his red flag. Then he calmly pulled it up at the very last moment, easily dodging the raging machine. El Matador enjoyed the cheers from the crowd. The bulldozer snuck around and charged El Matador from behind. The bulldozer buried El Matador in dirt. The crowd couldn't believe their eyes. Was this the end of El Matador? Suddenly, El Matador's hook popped out of the dirt, catching the red flag. El Matador was alive. The crowd cheered. El Matador's biggest fans, Senorita Mia and Senorita Tia, were overjoyed to see their hero had survived. Ole! cried Mia. Bravo, Senior Mater, cried Tia. El Matador was determined to get back at the bulldozer. He shook off his hood and locked eyes with the big machine. But now there were three bulldozers. Yikes! Would even the great El Matador be able to survive against three bulldozers? The bulldozer charged El Matador, but just when they had surrounded him, he leaped into the air. The bulldozers crashed into one another. Ole! said El Matador, standing proudly atop the defeat of bulldozers. Ole! Bravo, Senior Mater! cheered the crowd. But the crowd had cheered too soon. There I was, surrounded, Mater said, continuing his story. Bulldozers all around me. He's in big trouble now. What did you do? asked Lightning McQueen. What did I... Well, don't you remember? You were there too, replied Mater. They sure like your fancy red paint job, Mater told Lightning. Ah! screamed Lightning as the bulldozers chased him all around the arena. Mater, said Lightning, that did not happen. Well, try telling that to them there bulldozers, said Mater. Huh? asked Lightning. Suddenly he noticed they were surrounded by bulldozers. Ah! screamed Lightning as he raced off with the bulldozers right on his tail. Where did they come from? Just then, two of Mater's biggest fans arrived. Senoritas! said Mater, tossing on his Mater door hat. Ole! Then the three cars drove off in search of new adventures, and maybe even a tall tale or two. 